Well, welcome to this combined UK drug testing and Valumed medical supplies uh, combination video. We're going to show you and demonstrate this new cocaine powder wipe test or surface wipe test. It's multifunction, giving the option both to test powders, to uh, swab surfaces, and also it can be used in human urine or any other liquid to screen again for the presence of cocaine. So the test panel device itself is in this format, comes individually foil wrapped in the standard all test foils, has a cover which is removed, says drug test panel, revealing this prong, which is then the element of the drug test that you use to wipe surfaces. And the procedure is very simple, just swabbing across any surface where you consider there may have been contamination with cocaine or crack cocaine. Now, if you've got powder residues, as we've got an example of here, which again, you're wanting to screen for the presence or absence of cocaine, these can just be swabbed with the test device prong, and you will see that it takes up quite a bit of that. It's designed to do so. The other option that you've got is to make a solution using a five mil uh, volume of clean, cold tap water. But you don't have to do that. You can just, as I've shown here and demonstrated, swab through the powder or contaminant. And then when you're happy with uh, your sample, you can then just use clean cold tap water. There's no buffer supplied with these as previous. And you just dip the prong then into that solution and the capillary action will pull all the residue and the solution through in. And you can see just starting to develop there in the results window, the pink dye traveling up this lateral flow test. At that stage, you can replace the cover and place it on a flat, clean surface. The read time for this test is between five and 10 minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video now and come back and show you the result on this particular test device. Okay, my timer now indicates that five minutes have elapsed since us dipping this uh, test wick into that uh, clean, cold tap water. And you can now see the results clearly, sorry, excuse me, showing clearly in the results window. We've got a T line and a control line. The T is the test line, C is the control line, indicating that sufficient uh, liquid's been added for this test to run. The COC in this little panel device here is the abbreviation for the drug that you are screening for. And you can see here, this is a clear negative result. A positive result would be indicated by the presence of a control line, but the absence of a test line at the correct read time for the device. Now, the sensitivity of the test will be indicated on the website listing that you have purchased it from. And the positive or negative results indicate whether the drug has been detected at above the cutoff for the specific test that you have purchased. So do check the sensitivity of the detection of the particular drug test because a negative result will indicate that the drug has not been uh, found at or below the detection level. A positive result indicates that the drug is present on that surface and in the test at above or at the detection level. So. It doesn't, a negative result we emphasize, doesn't mean that there was no drug present anywhere on the surface. It just indicates that it was not present at the concentration required to trigger the test. So there's the demonstration of the cocaine test device. Can be used on powders, surfaces, or urine, or other liquids to detect the presence of cocaine at the specified cutoff sensitivity on the website listing. Thanks for watching.